I'm slowly fixing up this cabin in Northern Canada. This weekend, I just want to enjoy it and spend some quality time alone in the woods. On day two, it gets even better. Man's best friend and his girlfriend. I'm doing the responsible thing here. I cut down this tree a couple of weeks back and uh, I have to drive out to get it from the cabin and I can only take so much in my bargain. And so I've been going back and forth. Each time I come out to the cabin, I come by and I, I grab a little bit more. And the last time I was out here, I was using a chainsaw that wasn't very sharp. Also, it just did not have enough power. And so I upgraded. I just had to do it. My Husqvarna is, is cooked, right? It's totally seized on me and it's not usable. My, uh, my Champion, I've had that saw for a long time and it's a pretty decent little saw for small sticks or, you know, around the cabin. But when you're dealing with big trees like this, not quite, you know, up to the task. So I have a steel now. And um, it was actually a, a pretty good deal on the steel. And this thing just like eats wood, man. This chainsaw cuts like a hundred times faster, a hundred times faster. It's unbelievable the amount of strength this chainsaw has. And it cuts straight. Just like that, the tree is done. I've got a lot of junks of wood here and uh, maybe like a dozen or more and they're all very thick and this chainsaw whipped through it. The trunk to the tree is gonna be my chopping block. I love a really good chopping block. This will be the thickest chopping block I've ever had. He's a little bit crooked but I'll straighten them out when I get them home. This right here is a big load of wood for around here. And in the end, it's gonna be four loads. The last time I used this stove, it uh, it didn't perform very well, I have to say. I don't know if it's because it was really cold outside, but it just didn't have any real propane coming through. It's getting warmer out there. Maybe I can get it to kick in. I would love to use it. I have a really fancy, fancy supper planned for tonight. Anyone have any tricks on how to get all of this off? I've scrubbed it, I've done everything you can think of. I just can't get that off. That one's lit. Oh yeah. That's the best they've lit since I've had this, well since I've been here, since I've been coming to the cabin. Like normally you can barely, barely see it. So that indicates to me there might be a really good flow right now. Good. Good. This is old French fry grease. I like to save it.
to the person in the comments who suggested that I should soak my potatoes first before putting them in the deep fryer or before I fry them, uh, thank you. I tried it at home and it did result in really, really crispy fries. And I know the main point is to get rid of all the starch. And so that, that too, that's good, but on top of having super crispy fries. So I'm gonna have to dry them off, obviously, because I'm gonna put them in really hot grease and I don't wanna start a fire here in the cabin. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Love getting comments from you guys that are really, really helpful. I love it, a little bit crispy. Makes for an amazing poutine. And this will be the first ever hot Italian sausage poutine I've ever eaten. Those fries are cooked to perfection. Now I'm gonna put some cheese curds on top. Hot Italian sausage. That right there is a masterpiece. You wanna go in the cabin, buddy? Okay, you wanna go in? Oh my God, I love those chairs. You do, eh? You having a good time, Puffy? Hey, you having a good time? <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, so we have a, a rocking chair. I've got uh, 12 foot lengths here, two by tens and two by eights. And I've got uh, 10 pieces of plywood and a really fast dog. There he goes. 
and I have to uh, I have to get it get them all up all those pieces of wood and I could carry but I'm gonna see if I can pull quite a bit of it up on my uh, on my bargain there we go okay just to get up the hill Come on. <laughs> good boy So it was priority for us to get some sort of comfortable seating in the cabin for Crystal. I'm okay sitting at the table for now in just the wooden chairs. We're definitely going to have a couch come into the cabin once we extend it. But uh, today when we were on our way to the, uh, to the cabin, I just suggested that we pull into a, a department store and pick up something that would be comfortable that could go in the corner of the loft. Good. Okay, you put yours down first and okay. I'll pull it towards me. Put it down and I'll pull it towards me. There we go. Oh, you good? Mm -hmm. So this was Jerry's idea to put uh, two by four or two by six across the top of my boggin because this boggin is not ideal for transporting big materials. But if I do it this way, I mean it is super wide but it really is effective. Essentially, it's like an elevated Kometic or a traditional like uh, Inuit sled. I'm just going underneath, grabbing onto that rope right there. And that way I'm nice and tight and secure to, the, uh, to this piece of two by six right here. It's gonna pull it right up to it. So there's a good chance I'm going to hit trees with these pieces of wood on the side. I'm going to hit this tree. like right there. Oh. Crystal just had a traumatic moment here at the cabin <laughs> and I wasn't rolling. I said, hey, uh, can you empty the garbage while I'm taking care of other stuff? And she's like, yeah, sure. And so she pulled the garbage out of the garbage can and there was something in the bottom of the garbage can that probably had been there for a long time and she reached down and she grabbed it and she picked it up and it was a dead mouse and she was screaming she was screaming yeah yep. I'm washing my hands now she's how do you feel it was actually really gross it was gross, it was so isn't gross. It? yeah but she's a trooper She's just like putting antibacterial wipes in her hands and now Puffy just wants to know what the heck is going on. And he's frozen solid. There he is, little mouse. He's just tiny, eh? Yeah. No wonder they can fit through anything. Anyway, he's probably been in the bottom of that garbage can all winter long. <laughs> His little face. Sweep that out. Yeah. It'll be okay once it's in the carpet, I think. Yeah. Where do you want it? Just right here? Yeah. Oh. 
Perfect. The only thing is, do you yeah. think it should go on that side and then a little end table there for the bed? I do. Okay. And this is more for your coffee or your tea. Exactly, yeah. So it's on your right hand. That's really good. Yeah, maybe we give it a little uh, Brush down. little sanding on the top. Mm -hmm. No construction in this video, but certainly a lot done. I got a lot of wood and a lot of wood, a lot of lumber. And that means I am just inching my way towards uh, doing what I've always said on the channel that I'd be doing once I got this cabin, and that is making it better. I am doing it. I'm working towards it. So really uh, thankful that Crystal came out. She's an excellent help. She always has been. She's very good, and she's always willing to help no matter what. So even if it means picking up mice from time to time. But yeah, and Puffy too. He's just a good little guy. I love having him out here. So uh, yeah, we've got all this lumber and that's a, a really good start. And uh, I'll probably do maybe one or two more trips out to the cabin this season. And then I gotta wait for everything to melt and then it'll be boat time. Yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll be back really soon.